Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to play Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, it's like a game making simulator. You quote unquote have your own business, you do stuff, and you research different projects. That's just a simple, silly little game I wanted to try. So uh, I opened it up, and this is what I got. So it says, Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right after the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best selling games, gain fans, and become a leader, become the leader of the market. Well, we're just gonna go with Duck Duck Games. Duck Duck Games, of course. Duck Duck Games, why wouldn't I? Oh, oh, oh yeah, the stripes. We'll do that one. Okay. Player. We'll go with Jack. Spoilers, I've been playing a lot of Harry Potter or whatever it is. Hogwarts, I've been playing a lot of Hogwarts. That's the character there, so that's what's been on my mind. So, Duck Duck Games, and we'll play with Dax as our character. Continue! Congratulations, you just started your very own game development company. Wow, that was easy. All I had to do was type in a few words. At the moment, your office is a garage and... And you are the only employee, but don't worry, many successful businesses start have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere on the screen to begin uh, pick up a menu. Okay, so develop a new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a title. You can select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Well, let's pick a topic first. Oh, dance, exploration, mystery. Let's do a mystery game. Mystery, ooh, uh, mystery action, mystery simulation, mystery strategy, no, mystery RPG. Mystery Adventure. What are we going to name our game? Oh, that's a good question. How about... Alright, we're going to name it The Adventures of Ducklock Holmes. Boom! Ooh, I want 2D graphics. I want text-based. Alright, let's do it. Oh... I thought we were just going to start making a game right now. Anyway, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of your for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important if you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay, got it. We have a mystery adventure and the pluses, so we should really focus on the story. We really don't care about the engine because it's got some negatives. And we don't really care about that. It's almost all going to be about the story because that's what really matters. Maybe we can just make this all the way down. No, just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. There. So everything's about the story, because the story is what matters when you come to mystery adventures. Oh, we have a bug. Oh no. Let's see. So this is saying plus 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 for that. So lots of stuff there. Artificial intelligence. In this? No, because it's going to be like a story based game. Level design? I actually think it's kind of important for this, right? Because it's got to look good. But we'll leave it like that. Oh no, bugs. We got more bugs. Uh-oh. Okay, so I only have two different things. I have basic sounds. So sounds, not that important for us. World design is, though. And... 
Like that, maybe? Yeah, that sounds about right. We can't change anything else for now. Graphics pretty good for this type of thing, so like mid-tier graphics. World design super important. Oh gosh. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press finish button to publish the game, but you should only do this. Do that once you fix the majority of the bugs. Wait, why is it the majority of the bugs? You should fix all of the bugs. I hate that. Especially with games nowadays, they're always like, oh, well, game breaking bug. I get it. They're big games. They're hard to find everything, but you should have the highest quality games, not pump out stuff every time. So we're going to wait. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating. Yes, exactly. That's what I was trying to say. So you sit there and fix those bugs. Boom. Anything else? Finished. Ooh, I gained some experience. New topics. Oh, these are the, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are my things. Wow, pretty good, huh? First reviews are in. The reviews for Adventures of Ducklock Holmes. Uh oh. Five! Five! The heck? Six? Okay. Ten! Oh man, you guys are harsh. Duck Duck Games, a newcomer to the gaming industry, has just released their first game, The Adventures of Duck Luck Holmes. This game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, Duck Duck Games are sure to gain fans quickly. Generate game report. Yes. Do some figuring things out. The Adventures of Jack Luck Holmes sold 2,359 units in its first week in the market. We made it to the charts at number 45. That's pretty good. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive an income for the game every week. You can see how well the game is doing by looking at the sales graphic in the top right corner. Okay. Fans. The Adventures of Duck Lock Holmes was so successful, they now have 17 fans. All right, 17 fans, let's go. Ooh, I don't have enough for that. New topic? No, I think we're gonna wait. We're gonna develop a new game. Pick a topic. Exploration. Exploration, oh, like a simulation exploration? No. Uh, exploration adventure. It's gotta be, right? Exploration adventure. Expedition. Expedition adventure. Adventure. Wait. Can I. Adventure. No, adventure is too pretty good. We're gonna do another one. Expedition. Adventure. Action. RPG. Adventure. Deep Dive Ocean Adventure. Oh, maybe we should do a text-based one. What do you think? A text-based one? Even I don't like the text. No, 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 no. Never mind. 2D graphics. Don't listen to me. Yeah, everything's going to pretty much be the same. Because, oh, because it's the same. Well, it's an adventure, so it's going to be exactly, yeah. Shoot, I probably should change something. Nope, 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 nope. Finish out those bugs. The Adventures of Jack Luck Holmes has received a company sales record of over 10k units sold. It's an important milestone in history for Duck Deck Games. And finish! Yay! Release the game. First reviews are in for a new release game, Deep Dive Ocean Adventure. Come in. Uh, uh, six? Okay, better. Seven? Eight? No. Oh. Ten! 
Aua. The adventures of Jack Holmes is off the market already. Uh oh. We need 50 points. Oh boy. We may have to release a whole nother game. Recent market study suggests that the Gavador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sectors. Consumers prefer the low price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configurations over the home computers. Develop a new game! Oh, do I want to research a topic though? I do want to wait for that, but what do we got? Airplane? No, wait, we still have the alternative history one. Topic. Alternative history. Action. Action? It's high noon at Vlad's castle. That's right. No, no, we're gonna have to just keep doing this 2D thing until we develop something. Ooh, something different. Okay, story and quest. Pah, we don't need no story. The engine's what matters. Even though, actually, the gameplay should be like... The gameplay should always be number one. Sorry, I mean, like, yes, yes, but, like, that's the point. Isn't this everything? And, yes... Artificial intelligence? Vlad's gotta be intelligent? No dialogue? We don't need no dialogue. He's just gonna... Cowboy's just gonna be running in there trying to find vampires. I think. I don't actually know. Is that what this is all about? Is that what this game is? I'd play it if I saw it. If I said it's high noon at Vlad's castle. Sound? Why would sound? Yeah, I guess so. World design. Graphics. Alright, graphics are important. Let's do this. Off the market! Uh-oh! Man, there's a lot of bugs in this one. Hey! You're not supposed to add bugs. Yes? Yay! I leveled up something! Reviews are in for it's high noon at Vlad's castle. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Seven? Yes? Seven? Eight? Seven? Eight? No, you guys all said seven. I think you copied off each other. Can I generate a game report? Yes, let's research our custom engine. Because I want to make a custom engine for this thing. So I want to create a custom game engine. Uh, 2D graphics, linear stories, save games. Yeah, sure, why not? I want it all. Give me everything. Uh oh. We don't have any games on the market. Uh oh. Should have thought about this before I was making a game engine. And boom! Game engine complete. New game engine for real is now complete. Before this game goes on too long, I think this would be a good place to stop. Uh, the next one, we'll go ahead and use the for real engine and we'll see what games we get out of it from there. So, for now, I will leave this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying everything and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!